Right, I'll give her one more hour and then I'm going to have to leave. So damn cold. Ugh! Great, still locked. Guess I can try knocking. Highly doubt she is in there though. I would have seen her, right? Hello, old lady? Anyone home? Is someone there? Oh, the old lady said to meet here. Of course. Jeez, don't tell me she's been home this entire time. I mean, what the hell? She just left me out here to freeze. I should have just knocked earlier though, I guess. Oh, it's so nice and warm in here. Any longer out there and I would have started to look like the Blueberry Witch. So where are they then? Oh, up there. Welcome to Jeez, where did you come from, Mother, old lady? What's the meaning of this? Who have you brought into our home? Chill, big man. Everstein, put that down. She's here to help us find Thorold. Yeah, How I'm here to help. She's not spying for the Battleborn. This was foolish. I ain't we no spy, sir. Anyone. Who knows what they'll do if they find me here? I can't take any more of this. No weapons, please. Let's just talk. All right, mother. So, you're here to help? Yeah, I guess, but what's going on? My brother Thorald, he was fighting for the Stormcloaks and went missing. Everyone assumes he's dead. But he's not, I just know it. The Imperials captured him and they're holding him someplace. The Battleborns know where. I'd go and search their house for proof, but they want me to. I'd be captured and then we'll never know what happened to him. So I need someone to find that proof for me. So I'd be sort of like a detective. Yeah, Detective Willow. I like it. How do you know they're involved? That it was the Battleborns? The Battleborns. The Emperor's biggest bootlickers here in Whiterun. Their connections to the Empire and the Legion are well known. When Thoral didn't return home, there was no question in my mind. They knew Thoral supported the Stormcloaks, knew he was gonna aid them in battle, made sure he didn't come back. Locked him up someplace to get back at my family. I'm sure of it. Shit, sounds extreme. What sort of proof we talking about here? Don't worry, good sir. Detective Willow is on the case. Anything that confirms that Thorald isn't dead, but is being held captive. I know those Battleborns have it. They'd be hiding it, of course. Wouldn't want it to get out that they've been lying this whole time. But you might be able to butter them up enough to lower their guard. Butter them up? I can do that. Leave it with me, good sir. We'll find your brother. Best if you didn't mention to anyone that you saw me here. Didn't see shit. Got ya. All right then, old lady? If only you could help bring my son back to me. Jeez! I said I'm gonna try, old lady. Give me a chance. You positive he ain't dead? He's my son. I just... I feel it in my heart. Oh, you'd understand if you had children. Kids? No, I'm all right, thanks. You take care of yourself now. You too, old lady. I'll let you know if I find anything out about your son, I promise. I just have a few errands to run first. Smell you later. Oh, bloody door is locked. You just gonna stand there, big man? Can see I'm trying to get out, no? Fine. Takes the piss, wants my help, but won't even unlock the fucking door for me. What's this book, then? The Cabin in the Woods, Volume 2. We'll make sure I read this later. Need to get to the inn. Want to get a good night's rest. Start my courier job tomorrow. Want to make a good impression. Deliver that potion and Fred's sword. Gotta get up early. So, they were both pretty confident the bloke had been kidnapped then. I don't really know what to believe. We'll just have to try and find some evidence to confirm either way. I hope for the old lady's sake he is still alive. Must be torture for the poor woman. Freezing out here! Worry about all of that stuff another day, just want to be in the warm now. Hopefully I'll be able to afford some proper armour soon. Wearing bikini armour in this weather is not for the faint-hearted. The sooner I can buy something warmer, the better. Right! Deep breath, Willow. 
You know the arsehole bard is going to be in there. Just ignore the prick. Get yourself to bed. Looks like the whole town's in here. They do love a piss-up, don't they? I ain't judging, though. Who doesn't love a good piss-up? Welcome. Let me know if you Hello want again, my lady. I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Destroyed by a dragon. Hard to believe, isn't it? Destroyed by a dragon? Have you been drinking too, ma'am? Anyway, I want to stay another night, please, ma'am. Are you joking? You just rented a room from me. Huh? Yeah, but that was last night, right? You saying I get a night extra for free? That's so kind of you! Need anything else? Just let me know. Thank you, my good lady. Oh, wow. Thought that was real for a moment then. He looks so noble. Free night stay? That was cool of her. Not sure why. Not complaining, though. Oh, you. Yes? Fuck off, lady. No, wait! That was uncalled for. Sorry, ma'am! Uh, need to stop being racist, Willow. She ain't a Thalmor. She's just an Ultima scum. There you go again. Fucking stop it, Willow. I'm sure she's lovely. If you can get past her boring ass stories and her raging alcoholism. Don't touch me! Let's get these doors closed and head to bed. I'm knackered. That fucking bard playing that fucking song again. I ain't forgotten about you, you cocky bastard. Your time will come, my friend. Huh? Hang on. Says the bed is owned. What the fuck? She lied to me! She must be absolutely wasted. First dragons, now fucking around with me. Making me think I got a free bed for the night. I mean, how was that even funny? Oi! Mikael, you're a dickhead! Oi, ma'am! Oi! Think you're funny, do you? Now let me pay for a fucking room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Jeez, wasn't hard, was it, my lady? Bloody pisshead! I'll show you to your room, right this way. Don't worry about it, ma'am. I know where it is. Ugh! She's clearly had one too many meads. Hi, Mikhail. Play that all night and I will make you swallow it. Understand? Like he doesn't already give me enough reasons to want to smash his face in. I really don't need any more reasons, to be honest. It's just a matter of time. Uh-oh, here she comes. Everything all right, ma'am? Let me know if there's anything else you need. Oh, no, ma'am. It's okay, really. I stayed here last night, remember? Bye, then. She's clearly wasted. Glad she didn't hang about. Who cares? I just need to get some sleep now. Big day tomorrow. Start my courier job. Wonder if they'll teach me the dark arts of locating people. Now that would be pretty useful. I want to get an early start. I have to head over to Riverwood and fuck being caught out in the dark. Hope I don't have to stay in Riverwood either. Yay! Level up! Hmm. Health is never a bad choice. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but this is an advanced warning, old man. One word. And I swear to Talos. Yes, I need to improve my one-handed. Haha. <laughs> Well done, old man. I'm proud of you. Restraining yourself like that. Good man. Oh, yeah. Gotta do these too. If I'm gonna stand any chance of gathering some proof from those battleborns, I'll need to start investing into sneak, I guess. They catch me, then that's me done. They're powerful people. I'm a nobody. Need to learn to be unseen. Learn to become a shadow. Should pump some more into alchemy again too. We'll start playing around with that at some point. A bit more protection never hurt anyone either. Okay, all done. Right, no messing around this morning. I need to get my ass over to Riverwood as quick as possible. Grab myself a quick breakfast here, then get going. Ugh! 
This isn't a good time. Well, it ain't good for me either. Now move. Thank you. Why is everyone always wanting to brush up against me like that? Respect my personal space, damn it. Hoi, Mikhail, your shit. Boo! Nobody likes you! Hey, everyone, Mikhail has a micro penis. It's tiny. Hang on a minute. There's that waitress, isn't it? The red guard lady. Oi, ma'am! Is there something I can do for you? Breakfast, then a question, if you would. Of course. I really mean no offence when I ask this, milady. It's just you're clearly no Nord. So don't be offended by my question, please. All right, then. What can I do for you? There were some warriors with curved swords at the main this gate looking for a Redguard game. lady. One of the first songs I ever learned. Are you sure? Ragnar the Red. Oh, no. Oh, they found me? I knew it! Ragnar. I need your help. Please, come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Quickly, come with me. So it is you. I knew you was acting shady, milady. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm a poet, and I didn't even know it. This woman seems really suspicious. Where the fuck is she taking me? Reckon she murdered someone, right? That's why they're after her, isn't it? And I'm next, shit! Right behind you, milady. Please don't hurt me. And the braggart named Ragnar was boastful no more. When his ugly red head rolled around so on the Oh fuck, knew it! You're you a killer! You can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. Calm down, ma'am! I mean it. I'll... I'll cut you in half. So the Alakir know where I am? What did they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are coming? Tell me. I don't want no trouble, ma'am. Put the knife down! The curved sword chappies were just asking if anyone had seen a red guard lady. That's all, I promise. You can't tell them. Please, I need your help and there isn't anyone I can trust here in the city. Look, lady, I don't want to get involved. Well, maybe if there was money in it. But it would have to be a lot of coin. There will be. Of that, you can be assured. I am not the person that the people of Whiterun think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almarie Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. Hald Mary Dominion, you say? Fuckers. Say I was to take the job, how'd I get rid of them? What's the plan? They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me, so you'll have to find out where this they is are. You're asking for an awful lot, milady. Taking on a group of trained warriors. I mean, I wouldn't even know where to begin to find them. I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. I'm flattered, ma'am. But you're pointing a dagger at me. Bit crazy. Why they after you? I don't know for sure. I spoke out against the Aldmeri Dominion publicly. I suspect that's why these men were hired to hunt me down. Really? You not seen that loud arsehole up top in Whiterun? I thought they didn't really care about that round here. Probably not worth it, but tried the guards. You think I'd be in hiding if this was something I trusted town guards to handle? These men are ruthless. Cunning, deceitful. They'll pay off whoever they can. I can't trust anyone here in Whiterun. Guards and Jarls can be bought. And the Alakir are close. I'm running out of time, so I'm choosing to trust you. Again flattered, just not sure I trust you, milady. I don't very much care for daggers being pulled on me. Let me think it over. You've not exactly made the best first impression. Find me the moment the Alakir are taken care of. Yeah, maybe... Hmm, I mean, who does she think she is holding a dagger up to me? What the fuck did I do to her? That was out of bloody order, that was. This is she thinks I'm going to help her now. She can kiss my arse. Ragnar the Red. Ragnar the Red. Oh, ah, for fuck's sake. Wasted far too much time already talking with that psycho. Need to get out of here fast. As if I'm going to take on a group of warriors. She's mental. At least I know it's her now. Should find those dudes and let them know she's here. I get coin either way. Would rather not have to take on any curved swords. They freak me out. Right. 
Straight to Riverwood then, no messing about. Morning, Mr. Goat! Fresh baked loaves. Tired of bread Still and stew? Had oven. enough of fish and fowl? Beats Treat and yourself and your kin to a sale. choice cut of steak oh, or a tender rack of by ribs. The best blacksmith in Skyrim. I wonder if the carriage I saw on the way into Whiterun goes to Riverwood. That would make things a hell of a lot easier. We'll just have to ask the man, see if he goes that way. Get these delivery jobs done, then need to start thinking about how I'm going to break into the Battleborn's home. That ain't going to be easy for sure. What the fuck have I got myself involved in? Let's just hope it's worth it. The old lady better help me out for this. Lizard man still ain't covered the cheese, the fool. What a waste. Good day, sir. Hey there, gorgeous. Huh? Wow, a compliment. Finally. Oh, hello there, ma'am. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the bannered mare from Hulda. Oh, wow, good for you. You know she's drinking on the job, talking about Dragon's crazy pisshead. So you want to become a landlady? To become a merchant? Before my ma and our passed... I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. What the hell he want with a mammoth's tusk? You know what? I probably don't want to know, right? Maybe I can help you, milady. You'd do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? Sure, sounds good. If I come across one, I will be sure to pick it up for you. So you like the Khajiits, then? Mother always told me to stay away from them. What are they like? About the same as everyone else. They're the catfolk of Elsewhere. Great warriors, good traders. Way I hear it, Elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. Yeah, sounds terrible. Couldn't think of anywhere worse to be right now. Wouldn't be freezing my arse off, at least. You said something about trading caravans. Yeah, these Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard Hey, ladies. Huh? We oui, round and round I go. Worse than See a beautiful lady. Okay. Nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Ha! Huh, on account of the skooma, right? Mother said they love the stuff. Do you trust them? Matter of fact, I do. They've been fair enough with me, far as I can tell. And Anord knows a liar when she sees one. Fair enough, milady. As long as you trust them, that's all that matters. Just don't be buying skooma off them, all right? Farewell. Bye, ma'am. Damn, this lady is pretty fine looking. Should definitely find that mammoth's tusk for her when I'm out and about. What they do with it is none of my business. Adrian, the war maiden, busy at work over there. Hell of a woman, that one. Should I even bother to say hi? He doesn't seem to like me much. I'll have to work on him. Good day, sir. Oh, you. What do you want? Just wanted to say hello, that's all, my good man. Stop wasting my damn time. Now piss off out my face, will you? See ya. Think that went well? Some progress, at least. Dude really needs to chill out a bit. Finally, out of Whiterun, on to Riverwood to make these deliveries then. Oh, who's this? Good day, me lady. Blood on the wind today. Good hunt ahead of us. Blood on the wind? Cool expression, may have to steal that for myself. Take it you're a companion, who are you guys? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honour. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Trying to get into the mercenary game myself. I just lack a little skill at the moment. One day, though. The war getting in the way of business at all? Codlack says not to worry about it. I worry that a bunch of snowberries are out there earning glory while we stay out of it. But I will follow the old man's lead, as ever. Ah, so this Codlack bloke calls the shots, got ya. So, why did you become a sword for hire? Just love killing folk for coin. My mother was a companion, and her mother, and all the women in my family back to Harati Blackblade. I stayed with my father in the woods until I was old enough for my trial. We hunted everything there was to hunt. Good training. Ma didn't live long enough to see me join, but I fight to honor her 
and all my shield sisters through time. Strong, independent women, then. Nice. Sorry to hear about your mother. Lost mine, too. You think your gang would help teach me to become a mercenary? Kill for coin. We don't just take in any milk drinker who stumbles in. Talk to Codlack if you think you have what it takes to be a companion. Oi, there's that groper from yesterday. Oi, God, that man touched me inappropriately. Not going to help. Of course not. Sorry, Mom, got distracted by that perv. Bye for now, milady. Mm -hmm. She seems like a bit of a badass. Hope she can teach me a thing or two about mercenary work. Milady, I wouldn't bother. The guards are fucking useless. No more distractions. Need to get to Riverwood and deliver these goods. Can't be late on the first day on the job. Can't miss out on this coin. What are you looking at, miss? Have I got shit on my face or something? No, Willow, don't have the time. Stop getting sidetracked. Good day, miss. Get lost! Leave me alone. Wow, this looks so beautiful. All covered in a blanket of snow like that. Oh yeah, should go and touch that crystal I saw the other night release its energy for the old man. If I remember right, it was up behind the stables. Yep, there it is. I haven't heard from him all day, may have already run out of energy. Ugh. 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 That was annoying. All right, old man. Let's get you some more energy, shall we? Ugh. Here goes. Ah, what the fuck is happening? What's going on? Ah, again! Please stop. I don't know what the hell is happening. Old man, are you there? What's going on? Who the fuck is that guy? Don't worry, Willow, I'm here. Please remain calm. Don't be scared of the visions. Visions? Geez, how can I not be worried? I've lost the plot completely. You haven't lost the plot, Willow. The energy from the crystal has provided you with a vision. This man, whoever he may be, appears to be entwined with your destiny. My destiny? How so? I don't know how right now, but I just know it. Thought you were supposed to be my guide. What good are you if you don't know? It will become clearer with time, I'm sure of it. Great! Give it time as always. The man appeared to be chained up in some prison. Who the fuck is he? I know it's frustrating, but it's destiny. We'll find out. I know it. Okay, old man. I trust you, I guess. That was scary. Didn't expect no vision. Better try and calm down a little. Refocus again. Need to get my arse to Riverwood. Good day, kind sir. Need a ride? Depends, my good man. Do you go to Riverwood? How much do you charge, sir? Where do you want to go? Well, to Riverwood, my good man. Shit, doesn't look like you go there. Bollocks! Ah, oh, never mind. That's fine. Ugh, guess I'll have to walk it. Anything about Whiterun I should know. Well, I know the companions make their home here. Their mead hall, your Vasker, is the oldest building in the city. Oh, and there's a nasty feud between two families called the Grey Manes and the Battleborns. You want to be careful there. Now the he tells me. You can find me. out by asking the townsfolk. Start with the barkeep at the Bannered Mare or the Castle Steward. Thank you, kind sir. You know, you really ought to start going out to Riverwood. You'd make a killing. Until next time. Yeah, be seeing you, my good man. Best get a move on almost midday already. <laughs> Oh, 
Hi there, mister. Traveller, I need your help. Can I borrow your service in solving a, um, festering problem? Ugh, I really need to get to Riverwood, my dude. What festering problem? Yes, I'm from a nearby farm. And we're in trouble with uh, beasts. You look like a cell sword or a warrior of some sort. Maybe you can help us? Look, sir, I just started my courier job and I can't be late delivering these goods. Need to make a good impression, you know. How far out of the way is this farm? It's Chilforo Farm, owned by Lord Nazim of Whiterun. It's not far from here. Lord Nazim? Oh, that's the massive perv over in Whiterun, right? I ain't doing nothing for that creep, dude. Is the pay even good? Why, absolutely. I may not look like much, but my employer at the farm will reward you generously when the problem is dealt with. Nah, not interested, mate. You know he tried to touch me up, right? I'm not doing anything for that ball bag. Didn't even buy me a drink first. All right, then. Bye, mister. Should report that Lord Nazim to the Jarl, really? He can't be getting away with that shit. Brushing up against women like that. Bah! Not much further to go now. Making good time, all things considered. Still can't get my head around that vision. Who is that man? Where the hell is he being held? Why is he entwined with my destiny? Fuck! Wolf! Come on, ghost. I need you. Way! Ah! Ugh! Okay. Maybe I didn't need you. See how awesome I looked then, ghost? I completely kicked that wolf's ass. Don't worry, though, ghost. I'm sure I'll need you for another fight. Don't get in a strop. I'm such a badass. Didn't know I was so good with a sword. Hi, Willow. It's me. Oh, hi. I, um, I have a bit of a confession to make. Oh, really? What's that, then? Well, um, the sword skills may not entirely be of your own making. What you mean, old man? You're not making much sense, you know. Let's just say I've enhanced your combat skills a little bit. Don't get too cocky, though. You still have a lot to learn. You'll need a lot more skill to take on more formidable foes. Look, old man, I ain't going to complain. Thanks for the help. So, that's why I can do all these fancy dodges then. It explains things, I guess. Killing wolves is one thing, Willow, but fighting against a bandit is another thing entirely. I know you haven't ever killed another person before, but you mustn't hesitate if you come up against a bandit. They aren't going to hesitate. You must act decisively. Don't worry, I won't hesitate. I've no idea what it's like to kill someone. Won't know how I feel until it happens, I guess. But bandits get what they deserve. They don't deserve any remorse. That's for sure. Made it to Riverwood. Speak to you later, old man. Yes, speak to you soon, Willow. Wow, Riverwood looks even more beautiful when it's all covered in snow. Right, let's go drop off that potion to the chap at the inn. Oh, look who it is, Wolf Slayer. Still looks like he hasn't had his arm healed. Better stay out his way, he's probably still a bit grumpy about it. Willow the Courier has made it to her destination. Bring on the coin! He better pay me well for this. Ah, oh, awesome. Sven isn't here. Might get some peace and quiet for once. Pretty dead in here today. Where is everyone? Oh, shit! Come on in. Hey, Just watch soak it. the fire. Take I'll a teach seat you to talk to me that way. Where the fuck did you two come no. from, huh? I don't think so. Oh, shit. They're having a scrap. Yeah. Damn you! I think that one dude's brain broke. Shame! They were just getting started! Well done, my good man. You sure showed him. Think you might have given him brain damage, though. No idea what just happened. Moving on. Oi! Orgnar! Hey! <sighs> Don't think he can hear me, damn it. <coughs> Hello again, kind sir. Huh? I'm Willow, and I'm your courier. I have a potion from Arcadia for you, my good man. It's my first day on the job, so if you could put in a good word for me, I'd be most grateful, sir. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Oh, very nice, kind sir. 
Very generous of you. Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me, ma'am. I wasn't flirting, honest. Thank you, milady. I'm just the courier, nothing to worry about. Plus, have you seen his hair? What the fuck is that all about, huh? Right now to see Fred deliver his sword. Still think he ought to give it to me. He owes me big time. I've basically given him a free shot at Carol. Getting Sven out of the way like I did, he definitely owes me. Speaking of Carol, I can't really let them see me right now. Oh, it's my courier brother. That's it. Run, my brother. Be safe out there, sweet prince. Oh, look at him go. So graceful. As I was saying, can't let Carol see me. She thinks I'm fighting bandits at Bleak Falls Barrow right now. They seemed so happy when they thought I was going to get their claw back. I really don't want to see their sad, disappointed little faces. Hang on. I think I have an idea, maybe. I can't avoid their shop forever. That's just not possible. The guy is into buying women's clothes, so I'll need to rely on him for coin. What if I did go and actually get that claw for them? Collect the reward money. But here's the twist. I get Fred to do it all. Yeah. Get Fred to fight the bandits. I mean, it is his girlfriend's claw after all. And he does owe me. Willow. You're an evil genius sometimes. Right, where is Fred? We need a little chat. Oh, is that him? Oi, Fred! Oi, Fred, wait up. Fred? Slow down, my man. Feindal? Huh? Hello, my good man. I have a sword delivery for you from Ulfberth Warbear over in Whiterun. Crafted by the skilled hands of Adrian and delivered on time by yours truly. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Only 50 coin, you stingy little git. Orgner gave me 100, you know. Oh yeah, I sorted out Sven for you too, so Carol is all yours, my good man. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Only 25 coin. Is that all she's worth to you? Jeez. Look, my dude, you know you fucked me right over with reward money here. You should put things right. Luckily for you, I know how. Help me get Carol's golden claw back? The reward money will cover what you really owe me. Plus, you'll score good boyfriend points with Carol. A win-win, my friend. Lead the way. Good man, you've made the right decision. You never know, you may get a beach from Carol once this is all done. As a thank you. If not Carol, I'm sure her brother would. He seemed to be quite attached to that claw. Come on then, Fred, let's get a move on. I want to pick up some supplies before we head up to Bleak Falls Barrow. Oh yeah, should stop by and pay the blacksmith for the dagger I no longer use. If I want to be a courier full-time, can't be having my legs broken by him. Quickly pop in here, then purchase a few supplies back at the inn. Hi there, big man. It's me. Told you I'd be back to pay for the dagger. A lady of her word, I am. Oh, you. You learned how to sharpen a blade yet? Um, no. But I am a courier now. We can't all be skilled blacksmiths like you, big man. Well, thank you for bringing me the coin for the dagger. I reckon your legs are safe. For now at least. Phew, thank you, kind sir. Sort of need them intact for my courier job. So much appreciated, my big man. Well, that's a relief. One less thing to worry about, I guess. Now let's pick up some supplies from the inn. Then take Fred over to Bleak Falls Barrow. Hi there. Hi, kid. 
I pray to Talos that Fred's a good fighter. Putting all my eggs in one basket with this plan, let's hope we both don't just end up dead. Come on, Fred, let's get some snacks for the journey, shall we? Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Hello again, my good man. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Me and Fred are going up to Bleak Falls Barrow. Crazy, right? Need some supplies. What you got? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Huh? You don't have anything? No food at all. Guess they must be waiting on a delivery or something. You should stock up, my good man. Mm-hmm. I can literally see food right there. Why isn't he selling the cheese? Must be a cheese lover like me, I guess, wants to hold on to it. Right, Fred, let's get a move on. We'll just have to find something to eat on the way. Can't believe we're headed for Bleak Falls Barrow. I must be insane. Just let Fred do all the work. Stick to the plan. We'll be fine. <laughs> 